So welcome to MarketWise. Tonight, I'm just introducing and giving an overview of the course. Um, I'm the educational director of CareerWise, uh, formerly known as Tzomet Yutzvah And we have with us the instructor of the course, Mr. Daniel Sher. Thank you for being here, Daniel. And we have- Thank you. Uh, Thank you for uh, welcoming me. Yes, that's our student. Yeah, happy to be here. Great. So I have a presentation which I would like to share, which is about sort of how we got here and why we're here and our goals and our perspective. I have a few insights into the world of marketing that I, I want to share with you and then sort of some of the nuts and bolts about the, uh, the course. And then I'll hand over uh, to Neil for brief remarks and then we'll call it a night and we'll be we'll be on our way. So. It's an online professional training course, and that means that we're going to help you get a job. And I'm t telling you where we, we've, we've been working in this field for over a decade, um, helping Jews in Israel and Chutzlarts to find themselves and, and make a plan on a career. And so we're market based. We, we look at the market and, and see the opportunities that are out there. And then we help people look into themselves and find a good fit between themselves and the market. So we're we're worldly and we're into psychology and personalities and business. We're Takli's oriented. Go on. Um, how did we get here? So um, our business started more on a client basis, one-to-one -one, meeting clients and helping them learn about themselves and their personality type and their professional inclinations. And then <laughs> how they could leverage their strengths to get a good job and so forth. And that's a combination of internal factors and external factors. And so um, approximately six or seven years ago, we particularly focused on the cybersecurity market. And we've trained really hundreds of people to work in the field of cybersecurity. It's a very technical field. And because of that, there's an international shortage literally of millions of people that we need with their fingers on the keyboard and we don't have them because not enough people are willing to you know put in the hours to learn the, the necessary skills so it's a lucrative market it's hard to break into but it's extremely technical so there really is sort of a narrow niche of people that are really going to do that and you know Baruch Hashem, every year we have students um, between 50 and 100 students who are going through the program and actually beginning careers and today we have advanced professionals in the field. So we're really, really proud of that. What do we do? We're training people and then we're helping to place them. And our value proposition is our deep understanding and a respect for each individual. And we have valuable connections, both to technology. And I'm going to already tell you right now, I'm personally not a technologist. I'm not a techie. I'm not a technological person. Technology is really important to me and, and it's how I earn my living. So I have a love-hate relationship with it because it's so frustrating when it doesn't work. Um, but it's really important and it's, it's fueling the growth of our world. And so what we do is we get in touch with people like Daniil who are good at technology and, and then they can teach our courses. So like I don't teach, I'm not teaching this course and I don't teach the cybersecurity course. I'm the educational director, I'm overlooking it. I'm here to help you and, and you know if you have issues, whatever and to oversee things and to manage, but I'm not the guy who's gonna teach you how to use the stuff because I myself don't know. Um, so in, in terms of marketing, I have a marketing background and that I am gonna share with you tonight some, some basics of marketing, but then Daniel's gonna be your teacher and he's perfect because he's used, he uses these tools and has used them and he really knows and he's technical and really smart and he's gonna really help you get into it. And I want to I want to give a contrast that in cybersecurity, there, you could get like a master's degree, you know, for fifty thousand dollars from you know Yeshiva University or from Turo, whatever. But at the end of the course, you won't really know how to do anything, so it's almost worthless. Whereas our courses, they're hands-on. They don't cost nearly that much, and they're all they're not about the topic. They're doing it, and so when you complete the course, you're going to know how to do it. And that's what's worth money and that's how you get a job and that's what we're really focused on we're really pragmatic and, and focused on the industry and getting helping you to get a job so that's how this course also has been developed to be a hands-on technical course of how to do the things to do digital marketing 
So a word about the job market for people who have acquired the skills to work in digital marketing. It's a thriving market. It continues to grow. Um, the demand is increasing. They say it'll create millions of jobs already by next year. Um, expected growth rate of 10% for the next 10 years. Um, one of the main focuses, there's a really hot topic, you know, since the discovery of the internet in the 90s, AI is one of those things. Everybody's excited to me, oh, AI, you know, that's, it's a game changer. And so it really is, it's cool stuff. Um, I, I know in cyber, the bad guys are using it and the good guys are using it. And certainly in marketing, it's also a really huge and powerful tool to leverage machine learning and AI in many different ways. And again, uh, Daniel knows how to do that stuff. Um, so he's going to be teaching that. And that's going to make you really valuable because I can just hear, you know, a, a prospective employer. You're talking him in a job interview and he says, you know, do you, do you know how to use AI to run a marketing campaign? And you're like, well, I heard about it and I read an article, but I don't really know how to do it. So it's like, OK, forget it. Thank you very much. But if you say, yes, I know tools A, B, C, D, E, F, and G of how to use AI to do this, that, and the other thing. So then, again, the, the CEO who's interviewing you, he's my age, okay? He's, he's in his 50s, and he doesn't know how to use those tools, but he knows he needs them. So he wants to hire somebody in their 20s who is more comfortable with the technology than him and who knows how to do this stuff. That's what this course is about, is getting you those kinds of skills that are really valuable so that you're going to be a, a really important player on, on somebody else's team, or, or maybe you'll set up your own, your own business and you'll, you know, on a project basis. But the point is you're going to have really valuable skills. So it's an attractive place to be because of the flexibility. Uh, you could work remotely or you could work on site. The money is good. Um, there's opportunities for advancement. Once you're in marketing, you could ultimately be a, a CMO, a chief marketing officer, or whatever else as technology grows and you stay on top of it so you continue to grow your value. And also because whether you're working on projects in a company or on an outsourcing basis, there's variety. You're always working on new things, uh, which, is, which is fun because nobody likes doing the same thing all the time. Um, why digital marketing is a good fit, especially for our community. So the barrier to entry are the specific skills that you're going to acquire. You don't need a college degree, so that's that's nice. There's relatively high pay after a relatively short education. And like we said, there's flexible work from home possibilities, which is nice for a lot of people that are focused on family or yeshiva or whatever else. So that's really a nice benefit. OK, so that's um, a little bit about the market and about ourselves. I want to dive in. Um, I once actually dove off a diving board like this, a 10 meter board, and it was really scary. Um, but here we go. We're diving into the world of marketing. OK, and so I asked the question, what is marketing? And again, I, I've already told you I'm not a technologist. I'm going to call myself old school OK, or low tech. And, and I like that. I actually in, I did business school in Israel. Um, Boston University had a program. That's where I got my master's. And, and I was really busy at the time because I'm a Rosh Koilel, so I was giving shear in the morning. And I, had a, I actually had a day job. I was working essentially full time. I had very little time to really do the degree. But I, I loved the degree and I was fascinated by the topics. It was really stimulating and particularly the, this marketing class that we took. And so I was, I was well prepared to give my presentation, but I hadn't created a fancy PowerPoint or anything like that. So I got up in front of the class and I said, Okay, I don't have a fancy PowerPoint. This is just going to be marketing netto. And and I then I laid out my analysis of how to market. I, I think it was a diamond business. Um, my my father-in-law was working in diamonds, and so I, I made this whole analysis of the market and our positioning and our branding and and a whole bunch of things that were really insightful and professional marketing. But there was no technology involved, and it was we were selling diamonds, which you can't get lower tech than rocks. So, so that's what we're doing. So my concept is that um, tonight in my introduction, I'm talking low tech just to sort of open your mind and get the wheels turning about what marketing is. 
and then the course is going to be high tech and you know using tools but i want you to think about the concepts like marketing existed before the internet and you know before facebook or google market marketing is essentially persuasion it's you're driving profitable customer action you're getting people to do what you want them to do which is usually buy your stuff or your services that's what marketing is so it's part of convincing people persuasion and I, and I wrote that it's present in all our personal and professional interactions and I want to explain that I have a picture here some parent is feeding their baby and you got to market the baby food to the baby because the baby maybe doesn't want to eat now or the baby wants something else but you got to persuade the baby come on baby eat the food it's so yummy that's a marketing communication situation. So marketing is anytime you're trying to convince somebody to do something. You have to sell it. You got to make the sale. And it's in your marriage and it's with your parents and it's with your kids and it's with your spouse. It's everywhere in everything we do. And let, let's say you're a real, you're an accountant and you think, oh, I'm not a marketing person at all. But you still have to market your ideas in the office and get people to agree to do this project or to work on this project or to get hired is certainly a marketing project. Everybody has to do marketing all the time. And so it's not, some people are born with the skills. Um, we're gonna see that in the video shortly, um, but, so, but it's things you can learn. You can learn how to be persuasive and how to talk and think and be involved in strategic marketing, which is about thinking about things and finding how, how to make them attractive to your target audience. Picking the target audience and then finding what they want, what they need, what are their pain points, and then answering their pain points with something at a competitive price, et cetera. We'll see that in a minute. So that's, that's what marketing is and it's everywhere. So I am gonna take this opportunity to share a YouTube because this course is gonna be learning from all different things. Um, including YouTube videos and other um, in, uh, resources on the internet. And so this is one I found and I, I like it. Uh, a Jewish professor uh, at University of Pennsylvania. And he's talking, he's really talking most about communication, but it's about persuasion and marketing. So here we go, I'm gonna share it. I'm pausing my Okay, great. So we saw some of uh, speaking with using using words that create identities, he said, and speaking with confidence and using pauses instead of fillers. Those were his three points. Let me go. Okay. Um, four most basic marketing principles. And again, the, the course is going to be on a lot of minutiae, a lot of little things, but I, I like to look at the big picture. So they use these four P's. There's sometimes seven P's, but I'm going to just talk about four P's. Product, price, promotion, and place. So product, it could be you're selling a widget, right? You're selling something, but it could also be the service that you sell. I'm a plumber or I'm a locksmith and I sell my services, but that is my product for this purpose. I'm trying to get sales that people should call me to change their locks, whatever. So you develop a USP as a unique uh, sales pro proposition to answer the needs of your target audience. That is what I'm gonna sell. How, do, how should I decide what I'm gonna sell? I'm gonna have to research and so forth. I'm gonna need a pricing strategy to, depending on the target market, what are the competition, how much are they charging, charging and what is the value of what I'm providing? So that's, um, there's, there's strategy and pricing. You know, some, there are times, let's say you're a luxury good. You think about, um, well, I was thinking about makeup, like Maybelline or uh, Estee Lauder, stuff like that. Or Chivas Regal. Chivas Regal, that's a great example. And that's better for guys. Um, think how expensive she goes, she was regal in the 12 year and the 18 year and the barrel this and all there's all these really high end fancy whiskeys that people spend, you know, 50 100 hundreds of dollars on a bottle of something they're going to drink and be finished with. But it's a status thing right it's really cool to have, put it on your Chavez table or whatever or to give it as a gift to somebody so 
although we generally think, you know, if you learn economics, you learn about supply and demand and where they cross. And so the lower the price, the more demand. So you think, oh, I should lower the price and I'll sell more and then I'll make more money. But with luxury items, the pricing is part of the panage or it's part of the feeling that you're creating and it's part of your branding, okay? So I'm selling an expensive whiskey and of course it doesn't cost me that much to make and it doesn't cost me that much to advertise, but I'm putting a high price on it because if I put a fair or lower price on it, people will think, oh, that's so cheap. It must not be, uh, you know, premium whiskey. So your price has to reflect your branding. So that's, uh, you know, a more sophisticated um, thought about pricing strategy as opposed to just, well, how much does it cost me to make it? And what is my margin that I need to earn? And so that should be my price. No, your price could be much more complicated than that based on other factors. So that's a whole, a whole chokhmah, a whole taira unto itself as pricing strategies. Promotion is most of what marketing is about. The channels you're gonna use, SMM stands for social media marketing, paid advertising, which media you're gonna use. I had a case uh, for Rosh Hashanah, we had some guests. I think Daniel, maybe you or some were our guests for Rosh Hashanah. And I needed to, to rent apartments in Harnov Daniel's from Rehovot, and we had other families coming for the holiday, two-day holiday. They need to stay over in, in Harnof, and I, I can't put, you know, three or four families up in my own apartment, so I need apartments, right? Which is common. People all the time are lending apartments, renting apartments, but, but where is the right place to advertise that I want to rent uh, a few apartments for Rosh Hashanah? Should I put it on Facebook? Should I take out an ad in the Jerusalem Post? Should I do it on the radio, television? The answer is put up a sign at the mikra, okay? Because the people who are going to rent me their house are the Vishnitzer Hasidim that go to the Rebbe in Bnei Brak for Yom Tif. So I made that calculation that my target audience are Vishnitzers and they go to the mikra on Friday. And so all I need to do is I could do it pen on paper. Okay, I printed it on my computer, but I printed it as a paper sign and hung it at the mikvah and they called me and I, I made the deal. I read the, the tiras. So marketing could be low tech, but you just got to make the right analysis of who are your people and how do you get to them? So that's how am I going to promote the deal? So you, you have to think creatively. The place is how I'm going to sell my stuff. Is it in person? Is it through Amazon? I'm opening it as an Amazon store. Um, I'm selling online. Um, it's an online course or it's whatever it is. That's part of the whole cheshben, the whole calculation, your product, your price, your promotion, and ultimately your place. So the things that you're going to learn, again, are specific usages and technical tools, and then even AI to automate these things. But these are the fundamental concepts uh, of marketing. So... Um, I'm now going to talk about uh, more of the details of the course. Like I said, it's hands-on training. You're going to be you're learning to use state-of-the-art marketing tools. Um, we have the, uh, sort of a community of people studying. Um, we'll see uh, how many are going to join now and, and in the future. And, and we're here for you. So we're, we're part of a community. Um, we're very devoted to helping you get your uh, first job and, and even further down the road. We're going to give you guidance in writing your CV and preparing for a job interview, uh, opening a LinkedIn account and um, business connections and more. Um, the course is for people with you know zero experience in the work market or people maybe is a, somebody's a CEO, but they don't know how to use digital marketing. And so it's for anybody who's interested in, in gaining these skills. The structure of the course is that there are learning modules. And the modules, and I'll let Daniel speak a little more about them shortly, um, but basically you'll watch some videos, you'll read some things, do some things, um, and complete the, the assignments basically on your own time. Um, Daniel's going to be you know, populating the, the site, the platform that we're using is called Teachable. And so you'll have, uh, I guess, a username and password um, as a student on our CareerWise Teachable platform. That's where the modules will be uploaded and then you'll have the capacity to get them anytime you want. But in addition to all the online stuff, 
you you know you have our support you'll have daniel's uh, access to daniel we'll have a slack channel where you could direct message him and i'll also be there um, and then if other students come in they would also be there there'll be homework assignments and that's really how you learn by doing the stuff the soft skills are a few workshops which I will give about employment skills, like I said, writing your CV and uh, doing a job interview, etc. At the end of the, the course, there'll be a final project of using AI to do all the cool things that you've learned how to do in the course. Um, so that'll be really cool. You know, we, we look forward to, to seeing what you'll do. And that'll be um, a valuable asset in and of itself because when you then are going to look for a job and at a job interview, and it's something you might even reference on your CV, I did this marketing project um, and you know I uploaded it, or you could watch a video of me presenting it or whatever. And so the CEO or, or the HR person who's interviewing you sees that you've really done something. You're a young person, you don't have years of experience, but you've really quote, run a campaign and, and know what that's about. So that's a very, very, very valuable uh, part of the whole experience. The topics, and I think I've sent you this already, is social media marketing and AI for marketing, brand management, targeting, influencer marketing, digital marketing, and web development. Web development is also really important. I myself have developed, hmm, I don't know if it's more than 10, but approximately a dozen, I would say, different websites over the years for the various projects and companies that I've been working with or running. And so very, very important skills on whatever level that you acquire them. Um, so that is also a part of this course. Um, the faculty, it's cute. It's two husband and wife teams. It's my wife, she's the boss, she's the big boss. Okay, I work for my wife. Um, she's the, she founded the whole thing. Um, I call myself the educational director I'm, I'm sort of running this stuff, um, and I think you were maybe in touch with uh, Miri, who works under me uh, to set up your tuition payments, whatever, so Miri works with us. Um, so Danielle is married to Hannah Sher. She's uh, a lovely woman who has a real lot of experience working in digital marketing, and she has had a student in this course, and she helped us um, develop the curriculum, and Dan Daniel himself is going to be your instructor based on his experience in the field and his teaching capability, et cetera. Um, I'm, before I give the floor over to Daniel, I'm gonna tell you the last uh, two slides of my shtick of what I wanna share with you. And this I called our covenant. And I call it our covenant because at the end of the day, your success will have to come from you. And, and I say, we can open doors and we will open doors and we'll teach you a real lot of cool stuff. But, it's, but at the end of the day, you got to deliver the goods. And if, if you would be passive and just sort of show up in class or, you know, watch the videos, that won't do it, right? You're going to have to really want to do it and make it happen. And so this picture says there's no magic, right? It's not magic. You learn stuff, you do stuff, you put yourself out there, you dive in, you, you, get, you overcome fear and so forth. And then, you, then we can really help you do great and make things happen and, and really, you know, get a job and begin your adult life and your professional life and it could be really great. But it won't happen through magic. It'll happen through hard work. Um, this is also another important point in an online course. And, and as a professional today, who is your best friend? And I don't know, Manasha, who your best friend was until now. <laughs> Um, you know, a lot of people, their best friend is their wife, or it's their chavrusa, or their dad, or their mom, or whoever it was. But from now on, your new best friend is Google, okay? Because whatever question you have about the topic that you're studying, you got to Google it. It's, it's fine to ask questions of Daniel, or myself, or anybody else. It's good to ask other students if there's other students. But you, the first thing you always got to do is whatever you want to know, and it's true not only about this course, but everything in your life, you got to Google it mm -hmm. because there's mm -hmm. information there. Other people have already asked this question and there's, there's information there. And so before you ask me to like spend my time explaining to you, why don't you do the work and you know, ask Google and learn what you can. And then let's say I'm having trouble using Facebook ad manager and it's not working for me a certain thing. So put that problem into Google 
and you'll see that people are talking about it, explaining how to overcome it, and there's a YouTube video about it, etc. And then you get stuck doing that, and you keep getting an error. So then you take a screenshot of your error. And that you send to Daniel and say, Daniel, this was my problem. I Googled it. This is what I got. This is what I did. And this is a screenshot of where I'm stuck. That's a good question. Okay. Now you're using everybody's time effectively because you've gone as far as you can go, go, go on, your, on your own and you've invested in researching the, the, the answer. And then there's things you don't get. You're stuck, whatever. That's fine. So that's like the way in working in a technical environment to always try and solve your own problems using Google. And then when you really get stuck, explain what you've done and why it's not working and a screenshot and so forth, and then ask a really specific question and then you'll get you know, good guidance and answers. So mm -hmm. that's do the work. Okay, that is my presentation for this evening. Um, before we put closure, I would like to, I, I didn't say much about D Daniel and his professional background. And I also will be happy to hear from Daniel about sort of how the course is going to go and, and the various modules and so forth, whatever else he wants to share. So Daniel, please. Yeah, thank, thanks a lot for handing it over to me. So it uh, sounded a bit uh, really official. Yeah, and by the way, you did all the job. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, let me comment a little bit, maybe. So uh, just a few words, first of all, a few words about me, I guess. Uh, uh, in relation to this particular course, yeah. So I did have experience in collaborating in at my previous two roles at uh, one of the companies was Seattle based, and um, you know I collaborated with the manager management stuff like account managers, business dev managers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So whatever you call my position, so officially it was like project manager, but you know, so I, I did lots of things, including um different kinds of uh, campaigns. We we even one of the cases we even secured the uh, brand reputation, like company reputation of so and uh, I contributed a lot to that as well. So I uh, launched many products and services, uh, both internal and external. So what else? Uh, just to, um, what can be also interesting to you that I have like global experience with such companies as Microsoft, Dropbox, and GitHub, mostly these three, because uh, I, though I worked for a vendor company, so I came into close contact with Microsoft managers about different things. So, I mean, both technical, of course, there were many technical things uh, and, uh, and, uh, and marketing and marketing. So Excuse uh, me for interrupting Daniel, but I, but you're a very humble person. I want to mention that Daniel has a PhD. So he's very well I educated. wanted to mention it, oh. but in relation to, to what you were talking about, you were talking about persuasion. And what is more important here is what my PhD is about. So as we said, higher education, that's, no, in many cases that just sucks. Yeah, uh, but the point is that my, my PhD was written in the field of linguistic manipulation. Uh -huh. So yeah, and... Uh, Though the field was politics, so but the things that were mentioned and were watched here, uh, they're very. I'm very familiar with all of them. Uh, but actually, the course won't be a lot. You know about uh, there. There'll be some part of the course uh, dedicated to um, psycho uh, <clears throat> psychosociology. You can say yeah, because we will. Uh, consider buyer persona and uh, our customer <clears throat> consumer portrait etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's uh, uh, this will also be sure included there yeah but um what why else so uh, there was uh, also about um uh, SEO, yeah, so um, in SMM module, yeah, there'll be, uh, what, what is SEO is uh, um, site uh, search engine optimization, so that's again, uh, hi, Galit. <laughs> yeah, I want to welcome Galit. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome here. Welcome. 
we're discussing already night nuts and bolts here bolts here <laughs> all um, right galit i recorded my presentation uh of the past 40 minutes or so and i, I will share with, that with you uh, as soon as we finish the meeting so thank you for joining stick around till the end yeah, right. thank you for joining welcome uh yeah, so, and uh, I wanted to mention that I developed my own website with, just, with a friend, not not only on my own, but with a friend on there, uh, and uh, uh, we we ran the whole CO, we, we, the whole uh, search engine optimization with keywords, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, but uh, the course, so let me share my screen uh, here. Uh, can, can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Um, so as for the course, so um, again, just to emphasize it, yes, the course is, uh, I would say, completely all 90% is hands-on. And uh, this is not like any other, you know, regular course on Coursera or U Udemy or whatever. So because those courses um, stress, uh, stress a lot of uh, theoretical stuff, theoretical frameworks. We, we we do consider some ba uh, some fundamental concepts of marketing, but only in a relation how you can apply them in the real world. So, uh, for example, if we go to current trends and brand management, so, um, and uh, you can see here just in each uh, each uh, section in this module that there is a. Oh, sorry, it's already working. Should not be working. Okay, yeah, that's the video. Me, pre uh, me presenting, uh, me describing, explaining something like uh, main concepts. Yeah, and some and giving you some information and the tools and probably uh, showing you around so that you and, and giving examples like with with their existing current companies. Uh, for example, Patagonia, Tesla, Coca-Cola, whatever. So, and uh, after that, the, uh, usually a section is followed with an assignment or two or three, it depends. Um, and there is always an objective, like we analyze a successful digital transformation here. Uh, we choose a company, we, we research the company, we analyze it, and we prepare a case study report. So case study report is ready. You already know uh, how, how we use it. Now let's take another one uh, here with the brand identity and image. So let me pause it because it's there. Uh, so it, it plays it automatically. Yeah, and here already in the next section, like the second year in the, the whole course, you'll be able to create a new brand identity for a hypothetical company or your company, your future company probably, whatever. So, and there is overview, there are objectives, again, tasks, you choose an industry, et cetera, personalization strategy, there are deliverables and there are criteria and, and so on. So here we go. So I think uh, I will go back a little bit here. So, uh, wait, 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 it's not that more. I want this view. Um, so, and um, here on the on the left, you will be able to switch uh, between the different um, sections and and the modules. For example, there will be brand ecosystem. So you'll you'll learn about. A consumer behavior business there'll be a case study lots of case studies actually um so then we go that that's a few weeks here and a few weeks here just before we dive into ai driven market analysis so here we go and um i want to refer to what jonathan uh just told us about best friends uh Perhaps I will add another best friend, and that will be a neural network. And uh, there are different neural networks, so we'll discuss which one is better. So each of them, you know, has its limitations. You know, as any best friend, uh, AIs like GPT-4 neural network can lie. Yes. Yeah, so and we will study that. In which cases, how how to um, how to avoid that, how to double check 
proof, etc. The information that is um, generated. Yeah. So, and we'll do market analysis breakdown and apply it with AI and not only AI. So other tools uh, that, that can be, uh, whatever tool can be handy here, uh, we'll talk about it. So we'll do even the quantitative analysis. By the way, neural networks can do that for you, but again, we'll look at uh, the best ways how to do it. Value propositions, uh, AI powered brand evaluation, so many things you can do with uh, AI and uh, other digital tools. Of course, SMM and social media marketing, what uh, Jonathan told us about, of course, influencer marketing, so and. You know, there are people who are more powerful, as you, like in that video, yeah? Donald Trump, um, <clears throat> Steve Jobs and others, yeah? So they, the, 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 the question there was, why are they so powerful? Uh, we will not need the right answer here. We'll need their power, actually. And in this module, we'll learn how to use that power, how to leverage that power in order to... Um, in order to uh, smash your marketing goals. Of course, web development, that, but that's that's clear. So Tilda, Wix and other tools, in order, like these are constructors and there's, they, these are low code tools. So you don't really need to code here. Um, and the last one and the final project is the whole full fledged AI enhanced marketing campaign of a brand of a product. So with all the steps from goal setting to post campaign follow up, monitoring, adjusting it. So full product. So what do you say? Yeah, any questions, Vinasha or Galit? I mean, looks amazing. Um, no, I, um, I'm just curious, like how the system works exactly, like the website, like, is it like? You mean Teachable? You mean the platform? Yeah. Yeah. How does it like? I'm just. I mean, no, like, is it like recorded lessons that are on there, and you could go on your own pace, or like, is it not recorded yet? And it's recorded. It's recorded. All recorded already on the system. It is. It's recorded. Yes, and uh, yes, Jonathan and the. Uh, you can uh, can go on like with with your own pace actually yeah, yeah. so but this is a guided course uh, and basically this is this is necessary so just look here brand identity and brand image yes so okay let's imagine that within how many like wait how many minutes here let's let's click it okay anyway. 3 minutes 50 seconds okay so that that's yeah. the video or uh, uh, any university professor would call me, you know, mad person because, you know, just to fit in uh, brand identity and brand image in three minutes and a half, it's like, you know, it's similar to a story when you need to, to explain Thor while standing on your one leg. So something <laughs> like this. Yes. Yeah? So yeah. Uh, that's why. And, and then look, and the assignment is, is really hard. So you need to create a new brand identity. Of course, now you understand what brand identity is. There is the background, there are objectives. Uh, in this video, I will show around some tools, but still uh, still plenty of things might, might be missing. So this missing uh, for 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 to co to cover this uh, uh this thing, so I'll I'll be here for you. So and uh, we'll stay in touch in Slack if I got it right. But how do so you Slack? Like... Mm -hmm. And how do you like? Uh, and and we will communicate through Zoom. I mean, if if you mean video, th there's no video um, option here. So I think I guess we will use Zoom for for video sessions. Yeah, on got or it. like one on one. Got it. And how do you do like assignments? It, does it work on the, is it like on the website or? Does he upload Sorry? his assignments? Does he upload the assignments to Teachable, um, Daniel? Is that how that works? Um, actually, I think so. No, there's, there's no option like 
submitting it here. So I think you will need to send the uh, the deliverable. So for example, here it's a presentation. Yeah, in, just in Slack. Slack. So okay. Um, Manasha, have you yeah. ever used Slack or not yet? Never use it. Okay, it's really intuitive. Um, uh, Slack honestly, is Slack. Slack is the best, right? I, I, I believe in the in the in this world of communication. So, so I never use it. No, no, yeah. no platform can, can match it in the reality. It's not hard at all. So, um, there's direct messaging, and there's different channels, and there will be let's say a homework channel, and there you can upload your assignments. Where there's an Perfect. opportunity to communicate one on one, one like one to many, like in a group, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, the, there is already a, uh, an existing workspace. Uh, Jonathan Unslack. kindly provided that. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Sounds really good. Yeah. I'm, questions? I'm really excited. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Great. Khalid, any any input, anything you'd like to say? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just joined, so I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. But <laughs> okay. watch the recording. Yeah, very good. I'll send you the recording shortly. Okay, great. Well, I thank everybody for being here, and I'm looking forward to a great year of study and growth. And I'll be sort of hovering in the background. I'll pop in now and again for certain things, but um, I'm really I have the utmost confidence in Daniel. He's an expert in the field, a great teacher, and a great guy. So it's, he's really going to be a, a wonderful experience for you, Manasha, and I hope for you too, Galit. Okay. So thank, it seems like it. Very good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Have a, thank have you a so nice much. evening. Bye. 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 Okay.